Hello everyone and welcome back to Ubuntu Week. Today is day three and we're going to be taking a look at Ubuntu 8.04 Hardy Heron long-term support release. Now when I go into VirtualBox and put this into full screen and put my mouse into it, we can see what Ubuntu had to offer this time. Now the first word that comes to mind when I look at this is the word beautiful. Seriously, this is my favorite version of Ubuntu hands down. Uh, the artwork for this version was fantastic. From the uh, uh, boot screen to the startup screen to the actual desktop itself, everything about this was just beautiful. Um, I really like this wallpaper. It's my favorite of the Ubuntu series wallpapers. I'm um, sure you can argue all day if the abstract artwork is good or not, but for me, this is very, very nice and clean. It looks like Ubuntu was aiming for something bold and brash and beautiful. And they achieved that, at least at this time. Sure, we could say that the panels themselves look a little bit old at this point, but still, it's a very nice, clean-looking system, you know? Very, very pretty, in my opinion. Anyway, we click up here to Applications, and we can see what they gave us by default. In Accessories, we have the Calculator. We have a Character Map, Dictionary, Disk Usage Analyzer for analyzing the disk, very, very self-explanatory. Managing Print Jobs, Passwords, and Encryption, which was very, very handy to have. Take a screenshot. Uh, open up a Terminal. Text Editor, Tomboy Notes. Now, Tomboy is a tool I really do miss in modern Ubuntu's. Um, it was very handy for quick-taking notes on the go. Uh, seriously, I do wish that there was a equivalent to this in most modern Ubuntu desktops. Um, it is sadly missed. It really is. Um, we have tracker locate uh, search tool, so we could locate um, documents and stuff. Under games, we have IOROT, blackjack, chess, five or more, four in a row, free cell, gnome tris, lango. Klotsky, My Young, Mines, Nibbles, Robots, Same Gnome, and making its debut is Sodoku. Yes, Sodoku was included in this release. Uh, Tali, and Tetrafax. Anyway, in graphics, we have FSpot Photo Manager, which was very, very good. FSpot was a very good photo managing application. I do miss it a lot in um, modern Ubuntu releases in the GIMP. We open this up and see what version this is at. Um, let's see. Uh, 2.4.5, which was actually a very good release of uh, GIMP, if I remember right. We have um, openoffice.org drawing. We have Xsense image scanner. We have the internet subcategory. We have uh, Ikiko software phone, um, evolution mail, Firefox web browser, which if we open that up and we go to about Mozilla Firefox, it is 3.0.17. A uh, very, very good version of Firefox. Um, it did work very, very well. Um, we have Pigeon Instant Messenger, Messenger which was very, very nice. Uh, Pigeon, for me, always worked better than Game. Once Pigeon was introduced into the Ubuntu ecosystem, I immediately switched to it. It worked so much better, in my opinion. Um, we have Remote uh, Desktop Viewer, which is very, very nice. Terminal Server Client, which is also very nice. And Transmission BitTorrent Client. Now, this is a interesting entry um, because, you know, when you think of BitTorrent, you think of piracy. But this was actually more or less uh, for downloading um, images uh, of Ubuntu off the internet rather than, you know, going to uh, certain... Uh, website that you download files from. I'm not going to mention that website right now. I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Um, in Office category, we have uh, Evolution Mail and Calendar. Uh, we have OpenOffice.org Presentation Spreadsheet and Word Processor. And if we open that up, um, this is version 2.4.1, if I believe. Yes, called that. Um... We have in the sound and video uh, category, uh, audio CD extractor, Brassero disc burning. Uh, Brassero, uh, for me, is a very poor showing out of this. Um, Brassero has always been a kind of a flaky, fluky kind of application. I always replace it with KU3B or something like that. Not a very good disc burning program. Although for this particular version, it actually works semi-decently. Nine out of 10. Uh, movie player? 
um, have a rhythm box uh, music player and uh, sound recorder. Very, very nice. And at the bottom we have the app remove application. Very, very handy. Very, very good. In the places submenu we have home folder, desktop, documents, music, pictures, videos, computer, CD, DVD creator. Uh, very, very nice to have there. Um, we have networking tools, uh, connect the server, search for files and recent documents. Um, in the system submenu, we have preferences. Under that, we have about me, which was very, 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 very nice to have. We have appearance. Now, here's the thing about this uh, appearance thing. I found this on this particular version quite useless because the thing is, is that I never left the uh, regular human theme. I, I like this theme a lot. I do miss this theme. It's very nice and clean looking, you know, it's not too obviously blue or any other color, you know, it's nice and pleasant orange. Um, I do miss this theme quite a bit, even in a, mon a modern setting. Um, anyway, um, let's go back in here. Um, we have assistive technologies, we have Bluetooth access, uh, def default printer setup, uh, encryption and key rings again, keyboard setup, Keyboard shortcuts, main menu uh, configuration. Um, we have um, ability to tweak the mouse, network proxy, uh, Palm OS syncing, uh, power management, preferred applications, remote desktop, removable drives and media, skim input, um, screen resolution, screen safer, search and indexing, which was actually very, very good, uh, session control, sound, and uh, window controls. Okay. And administration, we have authorizations, so we can figure authorizations, quite self-explanatory. Hardware drivers, so we can uh, download proprietary drivers, which was very, very nice to have. Hardware indexing, so you can test and report hardware information to the Ubuntu developers, which was very handy. Um, on this, so we have the installer applet. Um, this goes away when you install the application, um, the system, because, you know, this is a live CD, you know, that kind of thing. Um, we have language support, login window, network, uh, networking tools, partition editor, which is very, very handy for a dual boot situation. We have printing services, software sources, which is very, very handy. Synaptic package manager makes the showing again. System log, system monitor. Now we go in here, we can see how little this takes up once more. And even in 2008 standards, this is very, very tiny. Uh, this ran very, very well. Um, you know, the, the RAM usage was very, very minuscule. Um, even by today's standards, this is very, very tiny. Um, so, uh, there you go there. Um, we have date and time setup. We have update manager, which is very, very handy, and users and groups management. We have, uh, we have um, help and support. We have about GNOME, uh, about Ubuntu, and the quit submenu. Now here we have the live session um, user um, thing, but this is a um, user quick launch type thing where you can switch between users on the go. Now one thing that is uh, kind of bad about this is that, that that didn't exactly work all too well if you had uh, desktop effects enabled. Uh, for example, uh, I could actually enable desktop effects if I so wanted to. If I change the wall uh, desktop wallpaper and I go to uh, visual effects, it can enable extra and have this thing flying on all kinds of different special effects for the desktop. Unfortunately, that didn't work too well with the user uh, switcher. It will often have uh, memory problems and stuff like that. You had to have a pretty decent amount of RAM to make this work properly um, and have a good amount of swap dedicated to it too. Anyway, we have a network monitor up here. Um, we have um, volume control, we have the clock and calendar, and we have a shutdown button, which is very, very handy. Um, on the desktop itself, we have the examples folder, which has a lot of uh, things inside of it, such as, um, you know, PDFs for studying up on the system. Very, very nice to have. You know, you even have the experience Ubuntu video with Nelson Mandela in it. Very, very nice. Um, and then you have the installer for installing this disk image onto your hard disk. So anyway, um, my final conclusions on this, if I had to score this from 1 to 10, I'll rank this a 10 out of 10. 
Seriously, this is the best hands-down version of Ubuntu I have ever used. It worked very smoothly, it worked very cleanly, even with desktop effects involved on my older hardware. This ran very, very smooth. Um, nothing about this really stood out as bad. Um, you know, I had um, no stability problems, I had no real issues with it. I would have ran this up until the end of life of it, seriously. And I almost did. I always would go back to 804 as a secondary distribution to keep around. Um, but anyway, uh, my next ver video I'm going to be talking about is going to be on 9.10, but that's going to be the Netbook Edition, surprisingly enough, because I do want to comment on the Netbook Edition and the Ubuntu Software Center and its first incarnation. Since uh, the Netbook Edition does um, offer a sort of preview onto what Ubuntu would do later on, um, if you know what Unity is, then uh, the Netbook Edition is pretty much very similar and is a precursor to it. So um, anyway, I'll be seeing you then. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Uh, same Ubuntu time, same Ubuntu channel, and see you then.